So, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker turned Star Wars into a 6 billion loss. Basically, a loss being, you know, I think they're going to explain it further down, but Star Wars is a damaged franchise, okay? It's a damaged franchise because Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm completely, completely destroyed the IP, okay? You know, Star Rise of Skywalker only make it past 500 million dollars because of its competence and moved to 2020 or crumbled. Well, there are some movies that were supposed to come out at the same time as Star Wars, but they delayed them. And of course, the Star Wars the series is now in terms of is now one e one even of after five movies, six billion dollar, five point nine billion in global global grosses. And Lucas found more to see Star Wars the Rise of Scout gets on one ninety one million after everyone from feeders, the eight point three billion forty five percent swap from blah blah blah. blah. And end up between viewing the beast and world going to Star Wars story. And with million viewing audience point and a lack of buzzy must see that again moment Star Wars domestic and global cube now one point twenty five billion could have been much worse, of course. You know, Wonder Woman, No Time to Die and Saki Hedgehog, Death and Denial, Fred from twenty nineteen to twenty twenty among both folks in Star Wars releases. Sony's the next level cricked right we get its way past two seventy five million domestic. Black Christmas and with a jewel both bombed at the box office. Two films coming alongside the rise of Skywalker, Cats and Why uh, and Bombshell both bombed as well because no one wants to watch those movies. So you know So why the Skywalker didn't have much, you know, big release competition. You know, Aquaman did and it still man has to make a billion dollars. Okay, Aquaman had Bumblebee, you know, had various you know, had the Mary Poppins movie as well. It came out, and I don't remember anything what else came out, so... And I had, like, some musical that came out, too, you know, that end-of-the-year musical that, you know, they tried to nominate for, like, Oscar. Oh, yeah, it was, it was Mary Poppins, I think, was the musical. It was a Disney movie, and Disney was, you know, they were all upset that, Mary, you know, Mary Poppins, you know, was underperforming. And the movie wasn't doing well for a while, Mary Poppins. It only, it only made money because of Christmas sales, okay? You know, big, big movies, you know, downright. Well, oh, but Star Wars actually faced repetitive, why does Skywalker face rest competition through the last Jedi? Alongside a friendly release schedule, yes, here we are! The why the Skywalker's biggest competition were Frozen 2, and I, you know what, what really? Is Frozen 2? I'm not, you're you know, forgetting that Jumanji existed. The biggest competition for Star Wars, why the Skywalker was Jumanji. Okay, the 10th biggest movie ever. Sadly, it is. Actually had several stories in the world, so I had Skywalker, but, you know, and so I get off, you know, the, you know, and emotional beats, you know, still hit in Frozen 2, and rigged out, uh, so they X because it ends quick. And now since Star Wars has competition, it's now just dropping in feeders, okay? And of course, you know, why the Skywalker's domestic beauty was not necessarily cause for alarm, you know, from 29 million, you know. This is going over, you know, then it kept dropping the mediocre legs for the mediocre Christmas legs for Rise of Skywalker were about to oppose the Star Wars fatigue or any events for Sir Rise of Skywalker, even Solo, which was, you know, open play to him well and held strong against Christmas. It was Star Wars like there was this straight collapse with domestic, 43 million domestic from 18 million debut in two, 2002, but collapse with lack of November December competition, Avengers Day collapse and power Jurassic Park. You know, series and the Matrix series. Yeah, so talk about the five Star Wars movies that made earned that much money. You know, and if Disney wants to continue the franchise and definitely read Donald Justice, it was really an apt comparison like the Stacks that epic. It was ironically, it was pretty well off of, you know, the the movie got very poor review movie that still made a ton of money, but still, but after series and a brand this in terms of maintaining for momentum. You know, the only people who like the Rise of Skywalker, okay, are the top 10, because, you know, they still are for anything of Disney's logo, okay. You know, they call you a fanboy if you don't like Disney movies, okay, and that's it, okay. No, you know, you know, four of your movies made a ton of money, but still left behind, you know, fan fantasies in this, in terms of maintaining for momentum. The mix of the Batman v Superman left more buzz and fixing the DC the brands of Wonder Woman, you know, and of course, we, we, the, we in Suicide Squad and Justice League, you know, just the, the Batman v Superman put the whole game plan back to square one, and, you know, DC 
and how Disney is also a square one to tell the how will get out of these fans excited about Star Wars movies again. Now, there's always going to be a silence after Skywalker Saga wrapped up, since the next Star Wars movies presumably will involve the core Skywalker solo characters, but Disney Star Wars franchise A, now on the defensive, and B, which isn't having such of the pirate goodwill erased from the surprised as. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're still using the AR world here, okay? They're blaming the fans and seemingly crafted to appear as all top souls of potentially <gasps> all white mobs. There's no less than all, there's no all white mobs hating the his you know, hating uh, Star Wars, okay? It's Cap and Candy's fault for ruining Star Wars, okay? You know, series finale. The cruel irony of this fate that Star Wars has gone to, you know. And all that, you know, Star Wars is a franchise, you know, beyond recovery, okay? There are two other franchises I would like to compare it to. First is the Transformers movie, okay? You know, Transformers movies, okay? The Bay, the Michael Bay movies, okay? Which made $4 billion at the box office. You know, around $4 billion. And similar to the DCEU, the Transformers franchise, you know, on you know, like Star Wars was a, you know, you know, you know let's compare it to the Transformers series, okay? Not many people were excited for the newest Transformers movie, okay? Not people were skeptical about the Bumblebee movie, okay? Star, you know, Transformers franchise, okay? Bumblebee nearly flopped because of how bad Michael Bay made the franchise, okay? Michael Bay ruined the Transformers franchise, and now they had to go back to square one, okay? And they did, and they, and, they, and unlike you know, you know, they actually went back to square one and rebooted the entire series starting with Bumblebee, okay? They rebooted the entire series starting with Bumblebee. Okay, you know, they canceled all the Bay former movies that were coming out because they knew that if they continued going out of the Michael Bay movies, they will continue, eventually start bombing at the box office, okay? Another example is the DCEU. The DCEU is in a precarious situation, okay? I think what we, they really need to do, okay, with the DC Extended Universe, okay? The DCEU is, does not include Joker or it, it used to include, you know, Joker is not a part of DCEU, so... But Shazam also as well had its lowest showing in the DCU. I think the DCEU needs to be rebooted as well, okay? You know, start from Scarf Zero similar to, you know, the other series, okay? You know, the other movies as well, okay? You know, Superman Red Sun is actually part of the DCEU according to this site, but we don't know if that's for sure. But, ever, you know, Aquaman made a billion dollars, so yes, there's still some hope in the DCU as well, okay? The probably we start the probably you know I think Aquaman Zama really is a restart of the DCU. It can still work out Wonder Woman because you know you know, but they're probably gonna make the you know this movie not canon you know this movie not canon Batman vs Superman you know the they the, and, and of course already go rewrite Suicide Squad okay, and Matt Steel the probably you know change all the earlier DCU movies besides Wonder Woman, which is at you know. Considering I'm making a sequel that they're not gonna rewrite write that movie out, but you know, they're gonna write out, you know, make, you know, start the new DCEU as well. They're gonna, you know, start it all over again with, you know, new care with, you know, Batman. That's why they're bringing back, they're making a Batman movie for 2021, which for some reason is not listed here, okay? They're making a sequel to Shazam and Aquaman, both coming out in 2022 according to the site, but they're making another Batman movie, a Suicide Squad movie. Another Suicide Squad movie. Probably gonna rewrite the re to write out the original Suicide Squad movie, and they'll probably gonna make an R rated because they can stay five star with Joker that you know doesn't need to be PC fourteen, and it could be R, and people will still watch it. Okay, you know the Suicide Squad will probably you know make you know you know the probably gonna try to rewrite Suicide Squad. I probably won't do as well as people think. Bows of Prey will probably do okay at the box office because, you know, it's a feminist movie, okay? You know, gonna try and make it feminist, okay? Probably do like 300 to 400, similar to Shazam numbers, okay? 1984, 
1984 probably do massive at the box office. Suicide Squad probably do okay. Considering the, the last Suicide Squad was terrible. Okay. Zam will probably do on 300. Will probably mo make more money because the first Zam was so was actually pretty great. And more more people are going to be interested in this movie. Shazam, and it's gonna make more money than the first one. That's for so the Flash will probably make around 400, 500. Do not know about the Flash, and right if they make the movie actually good, they'll probably make around 700 million dollars or something like that. You know, and Aquaman 2 could possibly, you know, be uh, you know, and the thing is, you know, Star Wars. Now we go to Star Wars. Star Wars is in this situation now. Okay, you know, you do have billion dollar movies, but Look at Solo. They had to cancel all the Star Wars movies because of Solo, okay? Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker broke a trend that, you know, all the other Star Wars trilogies have done, okay? That the last movie in the trilogy is the highest, the highest selling besides the Wars. It was the second highest selling of the series, okay? Because even going by Star Wars trend, this movie should be outselling. This movie should be outselling The Last Side. It should be selling more money than The Last Side. Because you look at the Star Wars movies, you know, you have Episode 6 making more than Episode 5. You had, you know, Episode 3 making more money than Episode 2 because it was a significant amount of hype. Because it didn't destroy the fan base, okay? You know, so Star Wars is on square zero. It's, it's, probably, it's probably in, you know, the DC, you know, DCEU and, you know, it will probably reboot itself and probably do better in the future. It's in it's below square zero. Star Wars, and that's basically it. Goodbye.